Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Tonight I want to take a look at Adobe Spark. I've done previous videos before on Adobe Spark explaining all the different things it can do. Uh, you can use it uh, as a free product. I want to focus on the video part uh, tonight because it can make some great presentations uh, for students or teachers in, uh, in a very quick fashion and make it look very professional. So I'm going to go, go ahead and get logged into my Adobe Spark here right away and I'm going to be using my premium account. So uh, when I get logged in here, uh, the one thing that, uh, that will be the difference is I won't have a watermark in the corner. This is Adobe, uh, Adobe Spark. Uh, and that's the main difference on what I'm going to be showing you tonight. So when you get into Adobe Spark, as I said, I use it for many things. I use it as part of my thumbnails. I can make some, and then I kind of use uh, Adobe Photoshop to kind of finish some things up, but I make some quick uh, things. You can see in the past, this is under post. But where I'm going to go today is under video here. So I'm just going to click on video and the other pages and posts can do some great things and definitely check those out too. But so I'm just going to write something here. I'll write uh, my example uh, video. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And where it brings you to here, so you have uh, some options here. And this is what I like for students. Uh, they can kind of pick something, you know, do they want to tell something that's happened? Uh, do they, maybe they're doing some marketing and they want to promote an idea. Is it a show and tell, personal growth? teach a lesson and you can see as I uh, arrow through uh, I have uh, create my own make up my own so I'm just gonna choose uh, one of these I'll go through and tell what happened I'm just gonna pick this one and it's gonna start up and I, it's gonna prompt me exactly what to write on different slides so if you kinda know a format you wanna follow it makes it easy to create the uh, presentation for this Usually it just takes a second to come in, so I'm not going to view the tutorial here, but uh, they are, they're just telling about the new themes. Okay, got it. So when you start your, um, your, your video here, what you can do, you can see right away you can add video, text, photo, or an icon. So right away I'm just going to start with adding uh, text here. So I click on text and I'm just going to write, uh, hello world and just click off of it. And what you'll notice though, uh, I can drag and drop uh, this too. So I can move this, uh, if I need to move this around, I'm just gonna click off it again. I can move it into different spots around the page uh, on it. So very easy to add text. Uh, if I wanna preview it right away, I can hit play, but all I have, you can see there's a little bit of sound to it and everything too. If I wanted this slide a little bit longer, uh, you can see right down here in the corner, if I click on it, I can lengthen it to uh, different how many seconds I want. Notice that there was music playing in the background. Uh, I'm going to go and show you how you can alter that and turn that off in a moment here. So going back uh, to this, uh, right on this, I'm going to hit the plus right here. And you can see I have a few more off options on this. So I've entered some photo, uh, I've entered text already, but now I can enter video or photo. So in this one, I'm just gonna enter a photo and I could upload photos if I wanted to by just simply clicking upload photo and I could click uh, some of those ones, bring them in. Uh, a lot of times I just like the uh, find one. So let's look for, uh, let's, I'm gonna type uh, just cars and I'm gonna do a search. And after it does a, a search here, I'll just pick kind of one at random here. When you put in a picture, it puts it in at the background. Uh, you notice down in the corner here, it says teacher's tech. That's because I, I'm on my premium account and I actually have, uh, I can brand each slide, but I can also turn that off. Uh, so if you're using it for professional pr uh, presentations, you can brand these too. Uh, when you get the picture inside, you can click uh, on the info so you can see where the, uh, what the rights are on each individual, uh, the media that you do use that you put in and from the search, because these are coming from the internet here. So I've added a video, I mean, I've added a picture and I've added some text. If I go to the next one, you notice they've already kind of picked when and where this happened, uh, then this happened, then this happened. So it's just prompting you to the next uh, to the next one. That's because we're using a template. If we were just using the start from blank, none of that would be here. But you can use these or change these as you go along too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so uh, the next thing I want to show you is a video. So if I was putting a video in here, uh, I'm just going to go to my desktop and this one here of a uh, the waves that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. 
and it's going to insert this. This is a 10 second video, but what I can do with the video is I can, uh, so this gray part here shows how long it's going to play. So it's going to play for three seconds and I can put that three seconds anywhere I want out of the 10 seconds. So I could lengthen this. Maybe I want it as four seconds and, or maybe I want it shorter. I'm just going to hit it shorter on this one because there is a little processing uh, time on this here. I'll just make it like that and hit save. And when it goes through, it's going to, that's going to be the background of that moment in time that I picked it for that, uh, for that much time. So now that the video is in, if I kind of want to show you what I have already, I can hit play right here and it will show that quick uh, moment of the of the waves. If I wanted to start from the very beginning, I can hit this play over here and it's going to start to play. So a lot of the I haven't finished yet, as you can see, it would just keep playing to, because it has all these slides. If I wanted to add new slides at any time, I can quickly uh, click on these and add the plus and it will go ahead and add more. Uh, you can see I can have a few more options if I wanted to delete a slide, duplicate, or play from here, I have that option. So another thing that you can put in, I'm just going to go to the next page, is uh, icon. So you can search these. Let's see if there's any car icons. Oh, I do have some car icons, so I'll just quickly put one in. So if you want to use icons, you can add those to your video too, or slideshow. They refer to this as a video, um, but it's kind of a mixture of both. It's really great for telling a story, I find with students, that when they're narrating something, because this next part right here is when you click this, it will record the voice. So you click and hold this. Uh, for example, we'll see if this works with, the, with both my mics recording here. So I'm going to hold and click this. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I got to allow this to make sure it allows my microphone. Testing, do you like my car icon? I hope uh, everybody's liking this video today. It's going to be extremely uh, not too complicated. And so when I let go, it's recorded. So let's do a little test now. As I hit the play, uh, right here, we'll go from the beginning. Testing, do you like my car icon? I hope uh, everybody's liking so you can see, very easy to add video, uh, images, text, icons. I can add my voiceovers. Students can tell their stories or present things in a very easy uh, fashion. Some uh, last couple things I want to show you here. You have a few options to, uh, to change your layout. I've been using the full screen, but you can change these into split screen. You can see where I can add the text or icon on it. I could change it to the caption mode or I have the title and text also. I'm just going to go back to the split screen on this one. I can add music. So I'm going to go to music here. You can see music was on. I can turn music off if I didn't want it. I'll leave it on. But I can go through and hit play as a test. So if I like this one, I'm going to click on this and I'll get the check mark. And now if I was hitting play, I'll just wait till it's done here. I'll hit play. And as it loads up, it has the new it has the new uh, music to it. So as uh, on the last part, themes, uh, I can go through and pick different ones quickly just by clicking on it, and it's going to change uh, change everything uh, to with the font and the color scheme behind it. So at the very end, it, you can actually download this too. So you can see at any time I can preview it up here. So I can click preview and it's going to preview it in this format. But if you wanted to download it, just hit the share and you have a download option here. You can see kind of, I'm just going to leave this uh, here, but if I download it, what it's going to do is download it as an MP4 and I'm actually going to have it as a uh, video file on my computer that I can quickly play from there too. All right. So it's at the bottom. I can see it being downloaded here. So, I'm going to just uh, double click on this just to show you. I'll open this up. Oh, I lost it here. Where'd it go? Whoops. I'm going to minimize it here right behind me here. So, so I have this as an independent file here on my computer. 
so that kind of goes over uh, the different parts of this Adobe Spark uh, that I'm just looking at in the video. Uh, take a look at some of the other things. I'm using the premium version right now, but the free version, as I said, this would be watermarked with Adobe Spark on it. So go ahead, uh, test it out. I hope you like this uh, tech tip today. It's great for the classroom or any other presentations that you have. Remember, I do these weekly uh, tech tips and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.